to Quervain surgery. This patient's undergoing a first dorsal compartment release. I'm going to make a transverse incision right over the first dorsal compartment. I'm exposing the abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis tendons distal to the sheath. Now I'm just running my scissors along the sheath to open the first dorsal compartment. A very tight compartment. You can see some inflamed extensor tenosynovium coming from the tendon sheath. You can see a rush of yellowish inflammatory fluid. You can see the APL tendons. which there are several slips of. Upon moving the MCP joint, though, there does not appear to be an EPB tendon or extensor pollicis brevis tendon within the sheath. So now I'm looking for a second subcompartment. I'm opening the additional compartment. Now you can see the EPB tendon, rather robust tendon, extending the knuckle or the MCP joint of the thumb now signifying a satisfactory release. Final inspection showing the adequately released subcompartments.